Hi guys, Billy Weck here, and this is a super fun video I have for you guys. And it is how to go from a daytime look to a nighttime more glammed up look. Does not need to be complicated at all. So, for those of you who know me, see me every day, whether it's preschool or kindergarten drop-off or whatever the case may be, you know that this girl has about 100 plus hats and I am more than content with being in one every single day of the week. However, I also enjoy getting glammed up, going out on a date night with my husband or out for a girls' night with my friends, whatever the case may be. So, I kind of like the best of both worlds. So, I'm going to show you guys how you can achieve that look rather effortlessly. And we're going to start with nothing that's makeup related. This is just a, a, a girl tip for you guys. Um, and it's removing the hat. Ooh, and my hat hair is looking fine. Okay, so I get a lot of compliments. I'm going to start pulling my hair up while we're talking. I get a lot of compliments when my hair is up in a bun. It's definitely a more formal look. And um, I guess definitely a look that appears to be a lot more complex than it really is, than it actually really is. So basically with the bun, if you guys can put your hair in a ponytail, which I'm going to show you, as long as you could do, and I usually take, oops, that's the wrong one. Um, my hairspray and I'll just spray around the back and the top so that when I finally do get up in a ponytail I don't have any little wispies falling out on me <clears throat> and there is a trick to this a very 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 super simple trick okay so I'm sure I've got little bumpities. I'm not using a brush or anything. I just want to show you guys quick. Okay, so my hair is in a ponytail. And that is literally the extent of it. Now, you're going to take this guy. I got this for $2.99 at Burlington Coat Factory. I didn't go in there looking for it. I was literally going to the checkout and it was sitting there. You know, all those racks they have lining the registers. Uh, just calling my name. And I looked at it and I'm like, what the heck is that thing? And I'm like, oh! Oh, I could totally do that. So you make your pony and then you literally just wrap that around your pony. That's it. Just like just just like you would put a hair tie around it. Then you're going to take your hair coming out of your ponytail and split it into two, leaving one hang in the back, pulling one forward. You then just going to very nicely scatter your hair around the bun and I mean you guys saw my hair and what it just looked like okay then you're gonna take a hair tie and you're going to plop, plop it around then you're going to take the hair that's sticking out and just push it around like you're just gonna literally pull it around that's it and then take another hair tie and I usually double this one over just to tighten it a little bit more and that's it so that's your bun look and again I mean I'm a little bit crooked here and I know I have some bumpities but that's it so you have a pretty formal hairstyle rather effortlessly next your face so again I have the BB cream on and bisque I have my 3d fiber lash mascara I don't leave home without it and I have my lip stain on all I'm going to do is add a couple elements, starting with eyeliner. Eyeliner is an easy way to make a more dramatic eye. So you're just going to take this. I'm going to line my top lid. Our eyeliners go on so smooth and so effortlessly. Um, but the nice thing about them is that once they set, they are not going to budge on you. Okay, so I'm going to add the eyeliner and then um, I'm going to pull it down on the bottom as well. Okay. 
and sometimes I do my tear line. I'm, I'm not going to do my tear line now, but you can also, if you do your tear line, hold your, your eye out, take a Q-tip, and just very gently dry the tear line, then apply your liner, and then just hold it there for like a, about 30 seconds to 45 seconds, let that set, and then that way you're not going to have any smudging or smearing going on. Okay, so my eyeliner. Next, this is like the easiest, super simple way to get glam quick. And that is our new Splurge Cream Eyeshadow. This stuff is awesome. And you need such a tiny, like literally, tiny itty bitty little bit. I'm just going to take a little bit here. And I'll show you guys how much I have on here because when I say you need an itty bitty little tiny bit, I mean it. And then I'm just going to apply this. To the corner of my eye to get a little bit of that highlight in the middle and then right above where I just applied my liner and then with the tiny bit that's left over I'm just gonna kind of feather it back and forth up to my eyebrow because I don't want that area to pop as much as my eyelid but that's it look at how pretty that is okay the other eye, same thing. If you guys have never used the cream eyeshadow in your life, like me, um, you have got to try this. It is so smooth and, um, you know, just effortless to get a really glammed up, dramatic look. Okay, so you can. You can either stop there and you can see, you know, the sparklies and the prettiness that it has going on or, and I'm only going to do this because I'm using it for my eyebrows as well. You can take, this is infatuated, it's a matte brown finish in our mineral pigments and just take a little bit and again, when I say a tiny bit, I mean, you can't even see it in there. It's like tiny little... Just a tiny little sprinkle. And I'm gonna pull that just above my crease. And I'm gonna stop about three quarters of the way in. Come over here, do the same thing on the other side. And it's cool because this is a matte finish, but when you apply it over top of the cream shadow, it gives a really, really neat effect because the, the, the shimmer that's in the cream shadow is going to pull through, um, but it's not going to be, you know, too much or too over the top. Okay, and then I always fill in my eyebrows. I'm surprised that I actually don't. Um, if you've watched my videos in the past... Every time I'm doing my eyebrows, I always tell you, don't try to create something you don't have. Work with what you got. I'm a big believer in that. I think it's awesome if you are talented enough to draw in an eyebrow. I have never been able to do that and look like it was my eyebrow. It was a very clear extension of my eyebrow. So I'm literally just taking our mineral pigment and infatuated and all I'm doing is filling in what's already there. I think this gives my eyebrow a nicer, fuller look. Um, but I still feel like it's, you know, natural looking. So you could see the difference. This is the one I filled in. This is the one I did not. All right. Go ahead over here and do the other eye, or the other eyebrow. And I love how, how versatile our products are. Like These are mineral pigments for the eyelid traditionally, you know, your, your eyeshadow. Um, but I obviously am using it to fill in 
my eyebrows. I watched a video earlier today where the presenter used the same color under her lip to do um, like a contouring effect on her lips to make them look more full. So, I, I mean, you obviously you can turn it into an eyeliner by applying it damp. Um, just a lot of different uses for one product. Okay, so eyebrows, check. Um, lastly, I, I'm going to go ahead and you guys can see my lashes. They look nice, but I'm going to go ahead and um, because our lashes are able to be stacked and layered, I'm just going to do them, give them a little extra oomph for nighttime. And I'm just focusing on the tips. I that was the first step was my transplanting gel. These are my fibers. And let that set. Come over here and do the other side again, just hitting the tips with the gel. And now my fibers. Um, I'm definitely improving with my mascara face. I used to look like I was a crazy person. When I started doing these videos, I would watch them back and be like, oh my god, I can't even believe anybody looks at these. Um, I'm not going to apply any fibers to the bottom. I'm just going to go over it with the transplanting gel because those of you who don't have our mascara yet, our transplanting gel is like a uh, mascara on steroids all on its own. I mean remove the fibers from the equation and it's still amazing okay and then last coat of transplanting gel to lock those fibers in so that you don't have anything flaking or moving or smudging or doing anything funny on you and again for anybody who's unfamiliar, our mascara comes in a kit. It's a two-tube system. So when I say transplanting gel, that's the longer tube. Fibers is the shorter tube. You apply this, the gel, then fibers, then lock it in with the gel. And that's how you get that. Wabam. Okay. The last and um, probably one of my favorite new products bronzer. Every girl needs bronzer for a good glammed up look and I just got these today. I'm so super excited. So you'll see half matte, half shimmer. I'm going to go ahead and use the darker side to just kind of add a little extra color on my cheeks. And basically with um, bronzers, now I'm using the darker side a little bit lower but I'm going to go to the shimmery lighter side and you would apply that to anywhere that the sun would naturally hit on you. And my head's a little red right there from having my hat on all day, but, um, you get the point. All right. So there's the bronzer. Last, I'm going to go ahead and throw a little um, lavish lip gloss on over my lip stain. Just to give it a little bit more of a kick. Again. We are going from daytime to nighttime glam and that's it you guys so what is that under 15 minutes with me talking so it normally would probably be a lot faster I just took my daytime look and spruced it up sparkled it up and turned it into a nighttime glam throw some earrings on get your you know fancy outfit on whatever it is that you're wearing and you are ready to go so Thank you guys for watching. If anybody has any questions on the products that I used in this video, let me know. 
definitely get yourselves a sponge bun because it makes doing your hair so much easier. I get so many compliments and if people only knew, well now you do, how simple it is. Um, you know, anybody could do it. So thanks ladies for watching. Lots of love as always and we'll talk soon.